This is Don once again. And Don uh, is having some trouble uh, with convergence. And I'm going to show what happens. We're going to all see what happens when we do a convergence test with a simple target here. And then we're going to try using the microprism lens to see what the difference. So here we have Fuego. We find what happens with him. Okay. He doesn't look too comfortable with that. Let's try it again. So we come in. Okay. There we go. We're about, about anywhere from eight, uh, 12 to 8 inches. We're going to use a bright target now. She had trouble, a lot of trouble with it before. Let's see what we have with bright target. And so we, we're getting troubles right here at about 12 to 14 inches. Don, would you put the print microprism lenses on and let's see if there's a difference. One thing I've had problems with with the convergence, the exercises, when I do that and I move my neck back like that, then my pain goes up the back of my head. Try it. Why don't you try doing what you just did now with the glasses? Man. Yeah. It doesn't hurt as bad. It doesn't make me as nauseous. I get, without it, without the glasses, I get this pain that comes up the back of my head, around here and into my eye. Let's try Fuego again. Let's see what happens with Fuego. Looks like we're getting in a couple more inches a little closer. Repeat it. Yeah, definitely getting in about eight inches or so. Let's try the, uh, the the bright light, which again, you know, the combination of the light and the convergence is a problem. It's still a pro pretty much That's a problem. Good. How does that feel to you? That, that with a little more tolerable with the glasses. A little more tolerable. Do you still don't want like that? I don't like it. <laughs> Let's try it with a... Uh, but I'd rather do it with the glasses than without. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at you. You, you lost it there at about six inches. So we're definitely seeing a change in the convergence skills you know, with that, but it's still a, a troublesome issue to you because of the... Uh, overall distress. Thank you very much.